Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Space Engineer. So I'm heading back at my base, I was just doing some things. I wonder if I can communicate my base at no. I think communication with yourself to your base doesn't happen uh, within, I think, 500 is my prediction. We should probably test that out for fun. Could be less than that. Yeah, pretty sure it's going to be 500. So that's within a thousand now. Let's see, nope. And then 500 any second. We'll start slowing down. No, actually, it might be 50. Let's go to the small ship and see if that's a good test. Or it could be like 200 or 100 or something. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what I want to do today is I found something cool. It's not cool. I knew about it. I just never bothered with it. I have my small miner somewhere. There it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him away to somewhere I want to go. So you know how annoying it is playing with how clunky the ships are and stuff? I need to get some uranium, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, uh, the, miner, the small miner and I'm going to go down to his remote control. And I'm not sure if this is going to work well, but I did try it once and it seemed to work. Uh, I'm going to go to Uranium and a Platinum area. I'm going to go to Add It. We're going to make sure it's a one-way forward and Autopilot is on. And uh, we're going to hopefully hope for the best. So we're going to turn this on. And automatically we have him... Uh, we have things like this on here. Uh, Collision avoidance. I didn't turn precision on because I think that might be really bad, but I think avoidant uh, Collision avoidance should help us. So it looks like my ship is already going to the side to avoid Gliding into the asteroid here and eventually it's probably going to continue It's a bit weird how it works, isn't it? I don't know if it'll actually change itself Oh, actually, no, it's already lined up. Oh, no, it's lined up almost exactly. Oh, okay, so it seems to be lining itself up for a good precision, and then it's going to go forward to it. Isn't that cool? So this is all remote controlled now. Or, no, I'm sorry, it's AI controlled. Oh, there's the thrusters going. Still pretty slow, but... There it goes. So we could go to here, minor small, and we can go into the camera, I guess, angle here. There you go. And does this tell us the speed? No. You probably have to go into the actual remote on it. Uh, minor remote. Oh, you can't hit control when you're. Okay. Interesting. It seems a little weird that it's... It seems like it really wants to line up before it goes, I guess. Oh! There it goes. That's kind of weird, but it's definitely, it's definitely going now. Oh yeah, so there we go. So the idea is, I, I'm tired of piloting my mining ship all the way to the part. I like to mine. I don't mind mining it. But I'm tired of dealing with the hands-on, I'll have to do this and that. So later on, I could put actually a radar station at, say, the uranium place or gold, etc. But right now, the idea here is to send my ship there to do, like, just, just to arrive for my bidding. And then when we're done here, say I want to uh, weld a bit more before we continue, um, I can do that. And then I will personally fly there, which I'm a lot quicker, of course. Um, many reasons why, but uh, the big one just being because uh, I'm not flying a ship, I don't have to worry about slowing down, things like that. I can just go there and directly to my target and basically slow down instantly and hopefully get in the ship. Now, I don't know if it'll work out well, but uh, I'm hoping it will. It's about to run out of our range now. There you go. At 5k, you lose contact. Okay. So we're going to save. We always save here um, because we don't want something bad to happen when we hit P. There we go. 
So, uh, back into our inventory here, we have a lot of iron plates, if I look. Look at 32k here. So we're going to put this in our large cargo container here. Wow, that almost filled the entire thing. Wow, look at my mess, 816,000. Holy crap. That is, that's ridiculous in mass. So that means our ship is going to be a lot slower and clumsy. Look how long it takes to move now. So you might not want to overdo it at times. I've decided to overdo it here, but uh, overdoing it might uh, give you a slow, you know, it might not be worth the performance of flying around and welding now with such a slow, you know, I don't know if this will affect if I slam in a bit, if it's going to hurt me more or not. We're running out of power more here. I think that has nothing to do with that. It's probably because we had multiple angles going. Well, it does have something to do with weight because it takes longer for it to slow down. So actually, that's kind of a lie. So there you go. So we'll just go up here and do our thing. There you go. I don't know if we did this front one yet. Oh, we did, I guess. We have to go to the other side now. <laughs> we'll be there in 10 minutes. And now we have to let it go longer, too. We just go like this and help it slow down. Oh, we're going to continue going for a second. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Anything else up here? Nope. Not yet. So there you go. That is our first welding uh, with a lot. Look at we're down to 620 already. We're low on oxygen, by the way. We should probably fill up after my little flying around, picking up. I marked two or three asteroids. Um, I'm trying to mark them a bit more now. And uh, so I, I was out on a, a bit of a vacation for a while there. Oh yeah, energy would be full because of the cockpit. Nice! Okay, so let's go and... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to that place. So we went to... Was it uh, uranium and platinum I think we were planning to go? So I want some uranium because I want to make sure I have more uranium. I got platinum off camera. I need to find more gold later. Got to remember where the hell we put that gold. Um, oh wait, no. I actually found gold somewhere else, I think. Oh yeah, I did. Gold and Nick. Uh, it was silver. That's the other one I need to find later. Because I think gold and silver were the resources that were quite low on that we're going to need to find more. But right now we're just going to do uh, uranium just so we can uh, show you what I'm doing here mainly because I'm not mining really anymore with you guys as much because that's kind of boring and you know who wants to watch somebody mine all the time I mean we we figure it out it's a basic plane ship you know it's not much to it um, no need to show you every you know day but I thought this was kind of special so Yeah. 
So our miner looks like it's intact, which that's good news. <laughs> if we weren't seeing that once we hit 5k, you know, something bad happened. I don't know how long it takes. I'm going to try 500-ish. Okay, that might be way too much. Actually, 500 is pretty damn spot on. So there you go. This is already waiting for us. So all we do now is we go into the lovely cockpit here. We hit K, we go remote, and we turn it off. And then, oh, I got worried. There was a bug before, and I thought that just was here and alive. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um, I don't know where this uranium was precisely, to be honest. I think it was inside of here, to be honest. Maybe we should get out and look before we make a mess of everything. Oh, here's some. Yeah, so it's right up there, I guess. Nothing right there. Is there another spot for it, or is it just that? Oh, no, there's another patch there. Kind of goes through it, huh? So we'll, we'll go through whatever. Don't mind going through here, I guess. Get rid of this. I turned my lights uh, recently down a lot because then you can see somewhat closer. Not so much far away, but it seems to help a bit more, so hopefully it does. Here it is. First I was like, oh, that's not it, that's a big shadow. There we go. It's hard to tell if I'm getting it, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is. We can always check our inventory too, don't forget it. Oh yeah, look at that, 12k already there, so that's good. I like how the cockpit has storage now, it's interesting. Makes me think there's n oh, what the? How did we? We did see oh, it just must have happened. It's like we went right through. Is that it of it? Or tiny little bit there? It looks like we got most of it. It's really hard to tell with this uh, the spotlight problem, but what else can you do, you know? See, that just makes it darker. You like that? Gotta love this game. I feel like making it smaller actually makes it better. Okay, I feel like we got what we wanted from that spot anyways. Let's right click and get out of here. There we go, that feels pretty safer now. Okay, so now we want to look and woo, look at that patch. Okay, back we go. Okay, hopefully we don't swing this in a way that we regret our decisions. Because with uh 
Hmm, anyways. There it is. Isn't that annoying? The lights make it like... I really feel like my lights are useless. I think we could put... Do we have the materials to even make a light? Maybe we can add multiple lights or different types of lights. Oh, bulletproof glass, huh? What about this? Construction components. Good. That's the ones we'll use everywhere. Oh, it's not available for... Aw, oh, you sons of... That's a good amount we're getting, though. Is this is platinum? It better not be, but no, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's uranium, I'm pretty sure. With these lights and everything, some of the colors come, you know, like it's hard to tell at times what you're even doing, you know. We'll have to figure that out later, but it, this is working out really well, so. Getting lots of uranium, which is good. Sometimes I hear a weird sound effect, which I think is some of the new sound effects. But it, to me, it sounds like there's a ship jumping, like you hear in Eve. I don't think there's ship that jump here, and I, don't, I haven't seen any... What's really weird is I have not seen any AI out here yet, which is kind of interesting. I can't complain, though. Nice not having to deal with the AI, so... something if you're not careful. Too much explosions happening. Or bashing or rambling or bumping or <laughs> a word in the dictionary somewhere. This is pretty good though. We're getting a good amount of uranium here. Hold on a second. Just gotta double check something. here.
So we can just set this one, uh, remote, and we'll tell it to go to uh, the outpost, hopefully. And we turn on the autopilot, abandon the ship, and we'll see you there. So that hopefully works out, and this is what's making autopilot very nice. Now you can even have, and I haven't done this, and maybe we'll find a script over time, but you can do an actual auto mining system with a script where it'll do all the work for you, if you can believe that, and that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this kind of like makes it so we don't have to worry about slowing down to make it to the outpost. It, it's smart enough to slow down itself and all that, so... Here we go. Hold on, I'm getting a weird message here. I've never done this stuff before. Oh, here it is. And then if you so we wanted to trade cards, and I was like, ah, oh, I've never done the Steam card trading, but I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna accept it and do it because I need it for an achievement, anyways. Apparently I need to do an email thing. Pfft, freaking steam. Okay, so we're at our base now. And if we sit here, our thing should be arriving, hopefully. Like I said, it might take a while because of the distance. Watch, I had a little slag there. I'm pretty sure that was the autosave. But watch, that was my ship blowing up. Oh, no, there it is. It's coming in already. Nice. Isn't that cool? that's pretty much it that's that's what makes it special and uh, kind of does all the the work for us in a way so we don't have to worry about you know making it back and forth and all that which I think is awesome cool so yeah I guess after that uh, I need to get some more materials like I said I need some silver I think and I need to go get some gold etc and I'll do that and then uh, we'll be continuing on building this basically adding a few uh, things in here like a refinery and uh, assemblers and whatnot um, it is kind of small in there isn't it I might have to adjust it up a bit just so we have what we need in here because if I wanted the cargo container, now I don't know if I would want to put the biggest one in here, but even if, let's say I did, this thing would not, oh, it would fit in here. Is it enough not to touch the walls, though? No, it would touch the walls, wouldn't it? Or no? Ooh, it would fit just in the middle. Okay, that's good. I wouldn't want it to touch the walls. I would want it to be more of a floating thing. That way, if we got hit or an accident happened and whatnot, it would be probably a safer spot than anything else. That's my goal anyways, to keep that container a little more safe. Um, so hopefully that indeed is what happens here. So here it is coming in. It's going pretty slow here, but I wonder what happens if I go like this in front of it. I don't think it cares about me. 
It works so perfectly, though. It's flawless. That's awesome. So yeah, that is our first uh, remote AI kind of blah blah blah. And we're definitely going to expand on that even more down the road. We definitely want to use it more. Um, no doubt in that. And eventually we'll even have it to the point maybe we'll remotely mine or maybe we'll even have some sort of AI mining. Who knows? Uh, but uh, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we will see you wonderful people next time.